I built the O2 Arena in Minecraft. With KSI's fight coming up very soon, actually just an hour after this video goes out, I decided to build a stadium it'll be taking place in, the O2 Arena. It's located in Greenwich in London and has been open for about 15 years. The arena itself is under a massive dome known as the Millennium Dome, which is constructed to celebrate the turn of the millennium in 2000. It's absolutely massive, and this build took me around 6 hours, not using any external tools. Before we get into the build and fight, make sure to like the video if you end up liking it, and subscribe since we're on the road to 2k. Anyways, to be honest, I'm more of a KSI fan than a boxing fan. I think what he's doing for the sport, especially for people my age, is great. It made me, at least, look at it with a different viewpoint other than like the stereotype of a lazy dad on a Saturday afternoon. I watched JJ's two fights with Logan Paul, and I've watched most of Jake Paul's fights, uh, Logan's Mayweather fight, and a couple of fights with the Nissan Jib. Most recently, I even watched the Canelo fight, which proves, at least in my case, that influencer boxing is spreading the love for the sport in general. So before the building gets too technical, let's talk about the fight. So KSI is facing Swarms, a UK rapper who drops some bangers, and later uh, Luis Alcaraz Pineda, a young Mexican boxer with a handful of fights under his belt. I wasn't sure about the two fights one night thing initially after Wasabi dropped out, but after seeing that his opponents are who they are, I'm co pretty confident in JJ. First, the Swarms fight. They have actual beef, and I'm excited to watch it. But we have to talk about that diss track Swarms released, which was just so bad, like, so repetitive, so boring, nothing new. Uh, like, Quedeca and the Sidemen did it so much better. Of course, Swarms doesn't know KSI as well with them, so that makes sense. Anyway, <laughs> at the weigh-in, Swarms came in at 199 pounds, which is 20 pounds heavier than JJ, who's 180. JJ does have a decent height and reach advantage, and a huge experience factor, having stepped in the ring three times already. Swarms has basically just had a two week camp from never having boxed before. Since this is technically an undercard fight, there are three rounds, and since Swarms has some physical advantages and is an unknown since we don't know what he's capable of, I'll say JJ TKOs him in the second round, maybe late on. He does need to conserve energy for the next fight, and he shouldn't, and I, get, I don't think he will, play with his food. Now, let's talk about a couple other fights on the card. Kenny vs Sensei is another one I'm excited for. Kenny has fought once, winning a split decision against FaZe Temper, until that decision was overturned well after the fight. Uh, that was a correct overturn since Temper was just completely robbed, but Kenny does have a little bit of experience at least. Sensei is a kickboxer who has an amateur record of 1 and 2, as well as getting a TKO against Overt Flow on the undercard of the first KSI Logan Paul fight back like 4 years ago. Sensei definitely has the experience advantage here. Kenny has come, has come into this looking better and he's improved a ton since his last fight, but if I was a betting man, which I'm not, I'd put my money on Sensei. Uh, I'm gonna say like a 4th round knockout for Sensei, and the next one I care about is the Deji Fousey Tube Clash. Both of them are YouTube legends, especially Fousey, but kind of fell off in the last few years. If we're talking physicality, I'll take Fousey, but Deji has so shown growth from every fight, and he definitely would have beat Alex Wasabi if he was just a bit more aggressive and actually threw punches. He was great at blocking, but he just never went on offense, and I feel like if he did, he would have easily won that on decision at least. With the three losses, Deji has more experience and has fought quite recently, just this last March. So I'm going to take Deji with a majority decision uh, and him getting a knockdown. Finally, what should be the main event, KSI versus Pineda. They have identical weight, and while Pineda might have a slight height advantage, I think their reaches are about the same. In terms of actual fitness, JJ has a lot more muscle mass and Pineda is more lanky. And I'm gonna trust JJ's training on this one, and to be fair, this is Pineda's first event outside of Mexico. We do have to take in, into consideration the exhaustion from the Swarms fight, especially if that one does go the distance. So I'm gonna say KSI majority decision. So those are my thoughts on the fight, and here is the finished arena. I really like how it turned out, 
I would have liked to uh, have time to go and do the roof and the entire dome, but I just didn't have time for that. Um, forgive me. And uh, lastly, I just want to comment on how bad the blue stair options are in Minecraft. Like, there's not a single option. They're all either green, turquoise, uh, which is just... Come on, man. Uh, finally, thanks for watching. Make sure to tell me how wrong my predictions were. And subscribe. Bye.